very lucky in that uh, David kept me around and on in when the first movie was in post production and editing he sought my opinion you know and I, I gave my opinion for what it was worth that sometimes he would listen to me sometimes he wouldn't but I think that he ultimately saw as he had when he bought my original script that he thought I had a valuable input so we had a, a really good collaboration and when it came time to do the sequel child's play 2 he asked he kept me around and and which was re really nice and unusual actually you know in hollywood it, it very often uh you know the writer is given no respect and um david was unusually nice to me and i think as as the series and the years went on uh, our collaboration became even better and I for better or worse accumulated more power <laughs> quiso en verdad eh, que yo estuviera presente en cualquier momento no en, incluso después de hacer la película en postproducción en edición me preguntaba o sea buscaba tener mi opinión a veces me escuchaba a veces no pero en cualquier caso cuando ya compró mi guión original había visto desde el principio que lo que yo pudiera aportar tenía valor es decir, que la colaboración era positiva. Incluso en las secuelas, sí quería seguir teniéndome presente, y lo cual está muy bien, pero tampoco es muy usual, no es muy corriente, porque en Hollywood a menudo los escritores eh, son menospreciados en el sentido de que no se les da ningún respeto, no se los no se les, eh, valora tanto. Y David siempre fue muy amable conmigo. A lo largo de los años, cuando eh, las, las películas iban eh, saliendo y, y todo el proyecto iba creciendo, la colaboración se hacía cada vez eh, mejor. Es decir, que de alguna manera sí que iba yo adquiriendo más poder. I think there is a there is a great tradition in the horror genre of of paying homage to, you know, what has come before and I certainly en enjoy doing that. I hope I don't do it too much, but I do enjoy it. Um, and we have paid homage to many different movies over the years in the different films. Um, I'm trying to, the, the one specific you, you referenced with the eyeball going yeah. down the stairs, I'm trying, I, I can't remember if that was a specific, it, do you, okay, what, what, it, what does, it, does it remind you of something? I, I thought that was um, the Shangling, uh, Peter the Medak movie. Oh, okay. The Shining with the ball? Yeah, with the ball, the stairs. Oh, um, I, I, no, th I no, thought actually, my, my it's opinion. more, it's um, The Changeling. Do you know the yeah. movie, The yeah, Changeling? That's what I, I, oh, is that what you said? My, pro, my oh, pronunciation is horrible. Okay, yes, yes, sorry. Yes, yes. <laughs> the Shining. No, the shining. no it's absolutely The Changeling. Peter okay. Medak. Yes. <laughs> um, only with an eyeball instead of a, a ball. No, the, the, the two movies, the, the, the Shining was uh, with the Chucky in the, in the door. In oh, in Seed of Chucky, yeah, yes, uh, when he says... And another one was with the eyes uh, downstairs, you know. Um, there, there are so many homages to... There's also perhaps less obvious ones. I, I, when I was a teenager, my official favorite movie was Brian De Palma's The Fury which I don't know if you've seen it, ends very spectacularly with John Cassavetes blowing up. That's why we blow up Chucky at the end of Child's Play 2. <laughs> also remember in that same movie in Child's Play 2, when they get to the factory and the kids are running through the maze of boxes, The Shining, mm -hmm. running through the maze. Um, that there are probably too many to count. They're you know, very specific homages, but also more general for example, Curse of Chucky was kind of a, a nod to um, old dark house movies. Do you have that, that term? You know, that's a, a James Whale movie from the 30s, The Old Dark House. And I always loved horror movies that take place in one house over one night. And so we did that with Curse of Chucky. It's also very budget conscious because we we had for Curse of Chucky we had less money than we'd ever had before. So I knew I had to spend the money intelligently. So I thought when I started to write the script, I have to make it all happen in one place, but make it one amazing, beautiful place. And so I 
I love haunted house movies, and it was very fun to sort of create a, you know, a really cool house. Cult of Chucky is also an homage to mental asylum movies, like uh, Samuel Fur Fuller's movie Shock Corridor. Also, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, because of course Chucky is the star, or one of the stars of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. So, I think I'm giving you a workout. <laughs>